so good uh, good afternoon all we have discussed so far about the framework theoretical framework and the conceptual framework we will go for ism that is interpretive structure modeling when there is not a theoretical framework possible maybe not a exact proper theories there or it may be that some things are scattered here and there so we'll go to the experts we will find our variables on the basis of some review now this review will be not the relation rather some papers mentioning that these variables are important you will take the variables in consultation with the experts and then identify certain experts these experts will be from industry academia or practitioner as much as you can take as many experts that will be better generally 10 to 15 is considered a good number and that's equally representative in all areas so when we take the variables we make a table table 1 into horizontal and the vertical all variables are taken only we will take the data into the upper triangular matrix and the lower triangular matrix we will not take the data the data will be taken in vexo framework the meaning of the vexo is we will use v when row only the row causes the column we will say it as a when only column causes the row x means both causes each other and o means no relation we have to take a hypothetical example here we started with five things about phd scholar and faculty members it's about admission development which includes all around development including the exposure knowledge then job promotion and happiness looking for the expert which can be on google meet or zoom meet or even you can take one by one expert we will get this table if you are getting the data from one by one expert then take the mode which is maximum given that particular thing you will take if it's a combined all experts are one place in online or offline then you can ask them to debate discuss and give you one answer so we have started with that admission has an effect on development admission has an effect on job but not on the promotion likewise promotion does not have effect on the admission admission causes happiness development will lead to job and job also lead to development so here x means both influence each other others are b means row causes the column so like promotion cannot cause admission in the phd or development or job it's a reverse way job causes promotion development causes promotion but admission in phd a full time phd admission will not cause promotion this is two separate things and likewise all of them cause happiness now we'll make that first table its name is initial reachability matrix the meaning of the initial reachability matrix is we will use one as effect direct effect and zero we will say as no effect this we will use one means yeah effect is there direct effect and zero means there is a no effect so here first make the diagonal as the one i will tell you the reasons later why we are taking this diagonal as the one and wherever v is there so let's uh, write this v a x o how we will make this v a x o so write the two this cell and the other pair so please note every pair comes two times admission to development from development to admission the table will be read always from row to column it will always be read as from row to column means effect of admission on development effect of job on development it will be read like this now wherever v is there that cell will be one and other pair will be zero why so because here we say admission causes development but v means development does not cause admission so here i will put one and this i will put zero check this out 
Is this point clear? One zero means admission causes development, but the reverse is not true. Otherwise, it would have been x. So from development to admission zero, from admission to development, it's one. So look where the x is there. From development to job, there is a one, and x means the reverse is also true. From job to development is also the one. So both I have taken as the one. Otherwise, O means from admission to promotion zero, and from promotion to admission zero, and rest I have put as one, and the other pair I have put as the zero. So this is called as the direct relationship. I hope you are making it uh, on your notebook using copy and pen. Now we'll go to the next one. This is the table number three, and this is called as final reachability matrix. From the initial, we will go to the final reachability matrix. And actually, this is a case of indirect relationships. This is a case of indirect relationship. Now, what is meant by the indirect relationship? Please see. Uh, if we forget uh, ISM for a moment, let's see. I want to go from Krukshetra to Ludhiana. The route is via Ambala. Krukshetra to Ambala and Ambala to Ludhiana. Now, what happens from Ambala to Ludhiana? This route is bent. So this route is not operational as of now because of the farmer protest. So I can take this route from Krukshetra. I can go to Ambala, but from Ambala to Ludhiana, this is not working as of now. So when we have to go from Krukshetra to Ludhiana, what we can do instead of Ambala, we can go to what other places I can go to. I can go to Chandigarh. And from Chandigarh to Ludhiana, I can go. Or I can go from Krukshetra to Patiala. I don't know how much uh, you know about uh, the geography here. And then from Patiala, I can go to Ludhiana. The meaning here is that just focus on the route which are open and then we can go. Now we have to watch all the zero. We have to look all the zero in the table number two, and then we'll walk. For example, look at the first one, first row, from admission to promotion. There is no such route available. So let me write just like Krukshetra Ludhiana. This is admission, and I want to go to the promotion. But the route is not available. Now tell me, Arun sir, from admission, where I can go? Look at the from effect of admission on others. How many others are there, Arun sir? So there is development, there is job, and there is happiness. There is a development, there is a job, and there is a happiness, happiness also? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Now come next. For example, I reach here, Patiala. Now from development, read this line. Read this line. From development, can I go to promotion? Is there any one from development to promotion? No, sir. Development to promotion, where you can see there is... From development to promotion, is it available? Yeah, it's available. One, one, yes. Yes, it's available. So it means my route is complete. This will be called as indirect effect. So direct effect says admission has no effect on the promotion, but we saw that admission will get you development and later the development will get you the promotion. Maybe development will get you job and from job to promotion, something like that. So in this case, I will put one star. What is meant by the one star? One star means this is an indirect effect. There is no direct effect, but it's an indirect effect is possible. Sure. Okay. See, the basic idea is we have to look for all the zeros. Let's go for the second zero. If we just come back to the first zero from admission to promotion, the catch is I will ask you to read from row to column. From row to column. From admission to promotion, zero means no effect. Now let's cross check it. From admission, there is no effect on promotion. So tell me from admission, where is the effect? Look at the row of admission and look at all the ones. One is to itself, okay? Then from admission, there is a effect on development. There is an effect of admission on the development, this one. There is an effect of admission on job. There is an effect of admission on happiness. Okay, only three are there. Now my point is, go ahead. From development, where I can go? 
from development, read this line. The following things are possible from development to development, from development to job, from development to promotion and to happiness. So here we can find from development, we can go to promotion. So can you see a root here? Now it becomes as I can go from admission to development and then from development, I can go to the promotion. So I can reach indirectly, not directly from admission. So I will put a one and I on this one, I will put a star. Star means this is an indirect. Now we have to check all others zero. Check this zero. Don't worry, there is a software that will help you, but the back calculations must be clear to you, else you will get stuck somewhere. How we'll read from development to admission. Let me make it as, or let's make a separate one. From development, I cannot, I want to go to the admission. From development, I want to go to the admission, but here the root says zero. Okay, tell me from development, where else I can go? From development, I can go to a couple of places. From development to development, okay. Then development to job. Then development to promotion. Then development to happiness. Development to happiness. Three are the things possible. Total are the four. One is itself. Okay. Now see, from job, can I go to admission? From job to admission, no. From promotion to admission, no. From happiness to admission, no. So it has to be zero itself. So here, dash means no such relation. Arrow means, yes, I can go here. It means no such relation is there. Okay, so this will be zero. And you can cross check others also from this. Since admission got many, this is zero. Let me check this one. From promotion to development. From promotion, I can go to the promotion and happiness. And from both to development, it's a zero. From happiness to job, happiness to promotion, all are zero. So this will be as such. This is actually the step where we require computer because it's an iterative process. Because next time, if you are getting from admission, technically, you should write next time promotion also. Technically, you should write promotion also. Arun, sir, why so? Why promotion should be written now? Because it has an indirect root no, sir. That's why. There is an indirect. There is an indirect. So every time you need to go again and again, that's why iteration process, a computer is required for that. But this is the final table. You cannot go beyond it, only this zero. So you need to check every single zero and check. Once we will not check, only the zero we will check for indirect effect. The name of the table is final reachability matrix. Now let's go to the next table. Next table is called as the level partitioning. 